Welcome back to my second channel. Now this is a very exciting video because it is the first video that I am filming in my new apartment. Now I will be doing a, an entire like moving vlog and posting that with like a mini um, apartment tour, but I'm just waiting on editing a couple things and whatnot before that gets posted. But for now, this is what the office looks like. That's where I'm gonna be filming my ASMR videos. I haven't yet decided what I'm going to do with the background as of now, but there's gorgeous lighting in this room. Right now you're sitting on the windowsill, so it is nice and bright, and I'm very excited to come up with new content in this bright new space. This video that I'm filming here, I just thought we could do a really nice chill get ready with me. Um, today I just have to head out and do some studying. I actually have a book report due next week that I have not started to read. So I'm gonna get out and do some reading and yeah, basically just a chill day. I might film later tonight. Now, normally I would film during the beautiful day like ASMR, but it is, there's still construction going on downstairs. So I can't film during the day as of right now, maybe on weekends. So I'll probably film um, at night, maybe this week and we'll, there'll be some like really dark videos if you are into those and follow me on my ASMR channel. Okay, so enough rambling, let's get to doing the makeup. Also, these are my new nails. If you want, you can screenshot for some inspo. I always get asked to show my new nails because people love them as inspo. So I got those done, they're nice and long. But before we do this mess of a hair, that's gonna be quite the, quite the makeover today. Um, let's just do some light makeup. First and foremost, we're gonna be going in with my Tarte Power Flex Concealer. This is my all-time favorite concealer and I am in the shade 14N right now. I actually do want to fake tan because I'm feeling very pale <laughs> gray is how I'm feeling, but that's also probably just a reflection of the gray weather outside today. But if you are in Canada, in the greater Toronto area, how are you feeling? Are you feeling gray? I mean, how are you doing? There has been a huge influx of snow recently. Like we had, what, two back-to-back -back snowstorms? It was ridiculous and so unnecessary, Mother Nature. So how are you holding up? Let me know in the comments. And then I'm just gonna be using the Spectrum A35 Winnie the Pooh collection brush. Um, this one's great for concealer and just blending that all out. Okay, so concealer is done. I'm not gonna go too heavy with it, just really light. And then I'm going to apply some of the Too Faced Sweethearts bronzer. I'm not sure if this is still in stock or available on the website, but um, it might be on the, like it might be at Winners or uh, what's it called, Marshalls. TJ Maxx if you're in the States. I think that they stopped making the Sweethearts box products probably because they're like super bulky, but I mean, they're, they are still good. I will say though, it's not necessarily my favorite bronzer. It is pretty shimmery, but I think that the Charlotte Tilbury one breaks me out. I think I've mentioned that before. If you have the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer, let me know your thoughts. Like, has it broken you out? Because every time I wear it, I feel like I get all of these pimples right here and here. I don't know, it's my it's my conspiracy theory. And for blush, this is my new purchase that, well, I've used it once before, so we're not really trying it out, but still I'm getting the hang of it. It is the Glossier Cloud Paint. Glossier is new to Sephora, I think in the US as well, or maybe just in Canada. This is in the shade Spark. So this is a very like ready, <laughs> Kind of sunburnt blush which is exactly what i was going for so i'm just gonna dot it on and then rather than taking a beauty blender i always prefer taking a buffing brush like this this is from blinged brushes and it is the f3 brush very pretty and i'm just going to be blending that out kind of like dabbing brushing i don't know nothing really too unique about my blending process. It's probably way too aggressive to be honest. <laughs> I do like this blush. I think it's like a really nice like 
I don't know, right for spring. It was a good purchase. I actually will just do this now since I'm talking about it. But I have the Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Lip Gloss. And this is my all-time favorite like lip gloss formula. It's kind of minty, it plumps them, but it doesn't hurt them like the Too Faced Lip Injection one. It's so good. However, I got the shade Daisy Pink and it was just way too light. I think I've mentioned this in a haul video. And they have another one, which is like the cherry lip gloss, which I was going to buy. But then I was like, I can probably just make it myself if I mix in a bit of the Spark Cloud Paint into the Daisy Pink gloss. You can see my mixing hasn't quite reached the bottom, but here is the new shade that I've custom made and we can apply that. It's really bright. It's really not the color I was going for. Pinky, corally, kind of bright for spring. I don't know, I like it. It's like not exactly what I was going for, but I mean, now I have a full lip gloss tube of, tube of it, so I better learn to love it. And now I'm just gonna be taking some of the NYX Epic Wear liner in the shade Pure White, and just applying this on my waterline. This just kind of brightens everything up. Oh my goodness, it is so hard to apply in front of this super bright window. <laughs> now the last step is just gonna be curling my lashes and applying mascara. I am not gonna lie. Oh, I just stabbed myself in the eye with that. But I also really miss my lash extensions. However, you guys are gonna be proud of me I managed to apply false lashes the other night when I went out with my friends all by myself. I used the Ardell like wispy ones and I know I did a good job because my friend who is a makeup artist for one of the clubs was like, oh my gosh, I thought you were wearing, like I thought you had eyelash extensions. So that's how I know I did a good job. Everyone give me a round of applause. I was really proud of myself. But in terms of mascara, we're not applying falsies for just study day, but um, I'm right now I'm mixing the Tarte Big Ego Mascara with the Tarte Surfer Curl. This is my all-time favorite mascara. It has been sold out at every Sephora that I've gone to, and I've just been avoiding going and buying it online. Actually, I don't even know if it's available online. I haven't even checked, but this is my all-time favorite one. Apparently, it's everyone else's as well. So I've just been kind of using the Big Ego in the meantime. This one isn't bad, it's just not the Surfer Curl. And also the Surfer Curl is like waterproof and sweatproof and all of that. And I prefer a waterproof mascara. Some people don't, some people hate waterproof mascara, um, but I am on the waterproof bandwagon. But I have been currently obsessed, obsessed with Yellowstone. I'm on season two, episode nine. And oh my goodness, it is so good. Have you guys seen Yellowstone? Are you into it? I find myself talking in a country accent now sometimes because of it, but it's just such a good show. And I don't know if you guys, I don't think you guys would know this, but I used to always wanna like grow up to be a country girl. Like my dream was to like have my own farm and like, I don't even know, just sit on hay bales. <laughs> That was my dream when I was little, was to be just like a little cowgirl. And I don't know, maybe one day I will fulfill that dream and have my own ranch, my own farm. And I can film ASMR videos with fluffy cows. Oh, how cool would that be? Cowgirl influencer is what I would do. <laughs> okay, so that is the makeup look. It's definitely a good transformation, I feel like. It's very bright, fresh for spring, perfect. And now let's get into this mess. So to help with my crazy hair today, Taima has been so very kind to sponsor today's video and also send me the Ring Hair Straightening Comb. So I'm so excited to be trying this out and to be fixing this rat's nest I have on the top of my head. So let's open this up and see what comes inside. Okay, so just opening it up, we get a bunch of goodies in here, just like the um, curling one that I reviewed. So first up, you get this scalp brush. I love these so much. Me and my friend are obsessed with these. They're so relaxing, but you can also, I'm sure, use this as a detangling brush 
which is exactly what I need for today's very messy hair. <laughs> Just get out all these tangles and then I'll show you guys what else comes in the box and we can get to straightening our hair. Now my hair isn't very curly by any means, but it is very frizzy and it's got some waves underneath. So I definitely don't like just leaving it like this. I do like to straighten it or curl it with the um, other like wands I have or something. Do you know what I mean? I don't like just leaving it like this. So the box, you of course get the Timo Ring hair straightener, which is so cool. I've never seen a hair straightener like this. So I'm so excited to try that out. And then you also get the soft carrying pouch, which is also great for traveling so that you can wrap up all the cords nice and not scratch up the straightener. You also get my favorite, I love these so much, the hair dressing like clips. I love using these on my ASMR channel for role plays. Then you get some instructions. And last but certainly not least, you get the heat glove if you need this. Now, normally I don't use these, but I appreciate that it comes with it in case you are new to hairstyling tools and want to be extra safe. Okay, so just turning it on, I am going to put it on the highest setting. It's kind of hard to see with the lighting, but it is on the highest setting and I'll let that heat up. And in the meantime, I'm going to section off my hair. If you guys can hear any construction noise in the background, there's quite literally nothing I can do about it because they are still renovating the building. So that is going to be going on for months and months, unfortunately, but hopefully it doesn't bother you guys too much. Okay, so I think that this is a good chunk of hair. I normally just kind of section my hair in three, like one, two, and then the last section. But now that it's all heated up, let's try straightening the first strand of hair. I've never had a straightener that's not like a clamp, so this is going to be so interesting and high tech to me, but I am so excited. I like that it's like a brush in one though, because it's going to detangle as you go. Oh my goodness, look how sleek that is. That is so cool that you don't have to like hold a brush while you straighten your hair or, or a comb and it just does it for you. That is the coolest product. Time out products are like so high tech. They're the coolest hair, hair styling tools that I've ever used. That was a bit of a tongue twister, but they're just always so high tech. Like the curling one that I tried to last time, like always so impressive. So I always use the highest heat setting, but there are five different heat settings depending on what hair type you have. There's also even heat distribution to prevent any overheat damage or anything like that so that you can do a one pass through and you get the sleek straight look that you're going for. It doesn't over damage your hair. And you can also save time because it heats up in 30 seconds. And like I said, because you have the built-in brush, it's really just like a two-in-one hairbrush and straightener. You save so much time not having to pass over with your actual hairbrush and comb through a bunch of times to make sure everything's smooth. It does it for you in one pass through. Oh my goodness, look how long my hair is compared to like this side where it's all frizzy. Look how smooth it is. That is such a good like before and after. That's insane. In terms of safety, it does automatically turn off after 60 minutes. And it also has an anti-scald design so that you can get closer to your roots without burning your scalp. So you can reach more of your hair and make sure all of your hair is straight and um, smooth, silky without burning your head. Really hard to do with a regular flat iron because you have that clamp and the amount of times that I have burnt my forehead or the tips of my ears trying to get close to my baby hairs, too many to count, too many to want to remember. A 360 degree swivel power cord, which makes it also easier to uh, do your hair. You don't have to deal with the cord being annoying on you. It's also great for traveling and wrapping it up in that nice pouch that it comes with. So that is the bottom half of my hair done. I mean, look at how smooth and silky it looks. It looks so healthy. So I'm going to do the rest of, I think the left side, and then you guys can see a really like 
one side versus the other side difference. Like I said, I don't have too curly of hair, but you can still see how like frizzy and kind of wavy it is. And then when I pull back this top layer that I haven't done yet compared to like this, I mean, that's a big difference. I think, and hear me out, I think they might be drilling. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so annoying. <laughs> see the finished half versus the unfinished half so now i'm going to get this other half done and then i will show you guys the final hair result my hair is all done it looks so soft and healthy and put together now i can go study when you feel good and you look good you do good on tests. I think that's what they say. So we can all thank my good grades to Tymo. So definitely go check out their ring hair straightener. It looks beautiful. I mean, I love the baby pink, but it also is so high tech. It is such a good quality product. I mean, as you guys can clearly tell. So yeah, that is the finished makeup and hair. I think I'm ready to go do some work now, feeling fresh and much just cleaner than I was before. That rat's nest definitely needed to get sorted. I'm also planning on getting my hair done next week as when like when I'm filming this. So I'm going to be getting a full head of like foils and everything will just be a lot brighter. I'm going to be getting it much brighter and then with you know a tan hopefully in the spring summer I'll be feeling much more like myself with my blonde hair and tanned skin hopefully i just need some sunshine it is so gray and snowy here i hope you guys like the makeup look i hope you guys like the hair and i hope you guys are happy about the apartment i know the construction is annoying but like i said there's nothing i can do and short-term pains for long-term gains you know i think overall the space will be quiet once the construction is done it's just you have to try and time talking around the construction workers which is a little bit difficult but it is what it is any video requests you have in the comments i do still want to do a video about my clothing line and some updates because that's been requested it's just the past couple weeks have been chaos with moving and everything unpacking and making the new space feel like home and comfortable you know i'm hoping to get back in the groove of things and start filming again um, more frequently fingers crossed with that said i'm also on the last home stretch of school and graduating so everything is busy but you know eventually eventually we'll get to a normal filming routine again but I hope you guys understand. I appreciate your patience with me and my content on this channel. And I hope you guys still, you know, like hearing me ramble at least a little bit. <laughs> I love you all so much and I will see you in my next video. And be sure to check out all of the Timo information. Um, the Timo ring straightener, of course, will be linked in the description box. Um, so you guys can check it out and hopefully try it out for yourselves. I will see you in my next one, everyone. Bye-bye. Have a great day.